What can a kingfisher bird beak teach us about reducing drag? What can we learn from a lotus leaf about self-cleaning surfaces? People have been looking to nature for ideas and design solutions for thousands of years, yet only in the last 30 have we defined the term and practice of biomimicry. In short, biomimicry is innovation inspired by nature, and this field has immense possibilities. Here are two popular examples of biomimicry in action. The Shinkansen high-speed train in Japan can travel at over 200 miles per hour, but it had a big problem. Every time the train would exit a tunnel, it would create a loud sonic boom, earning it the nickname Bullet Train. This noise was causing nearby towns to complain, so the design team needed a solution. Luckily, the lead engineer was also an avid birder, and he'd observed kingfisher birds diving into streams to catch fish, and causing barely a ripple on the water's surface. Kingfishers move quickly from air, a low-resistance medium, to water, a high-resistance medium. The kingfisher's beak provides an almost ideal shape for such an impact. The engineer designed the front of the Shinkansen train based on the beak of the kingfisher, which not only eliminated the sonic boom issue, but it now travels 10% faster and uses 15% electricity. Here we can see three differently shaped 3D printed parts, all that look like a different train shape. By dunking them in the water tube, we can experience how each shape affects the surface, both by seeing and hearing the splash. Let's try the traditional shape first, which creates quite a big splash. Now we can see the original Shinkansen model, which also creates quite a splash. Finally, when we dunk the Kingfisher-inspired train, there is little to no splash, indicating how effective the shape is for going from one medium to the next. The lotus plant lives in aquatic, often muddy environments. Because of this, it needs to keep its leaves clean in order to photosynthesize and get enough energy to grow. The surface of the lotus leaf is really water repellent, what we call super hydrophobic, because of its microstructure of folds and tiny wax crystals. We can see in this demonstration how the self-cleaning leaf works. The water droplets are repelled from the surface, which is why they are balling up and not spreading out and they pick up dirt particles really easily as they roll off the leaf. Surface finishes inspired by the self-cleaning mechanisms of lotus plants and other organisms, including many large winged insects, have now been applied to paints, glass, textiles, and more, reducing the need for chemical detergents and costly labor. What are some of your favorite plants or animals, and what lessons can we learn from them? 